Joe, we know you're a good Minnesota boy. So how is your how is your hockey skills be, uh, back in the day, and how are they now? Well, back in the day, I was a basketball player. So, uh, <laughs> well, but uh, you know, growing up here in Minnesota, you, you kind of know how to put on. You have to know how to put on skates and, and get out there and compete. But um, yeah, I don't know what I got myself into. You know, they're calling it the crazy game of hockey. Um, it's crazy. I think I'm going to be out there with the talent that's on that ice. But, um, you know, it, it's going to a great cause. The uh, the Minnesota Wild do a great job in the community up here in Minnesota. And I'm just happy to be a part of it and uh, have a little fun with uh, some of my old friends, uh, you know, over at the Wild. You look like you, he looks like he knows what he's doing. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> to us. Cause do we, uh, did, you grow, did you grow up messing around with hockey? I, I know you quarterback. Yeah, you know, just I, I played basketball all the way through high school. Um, but uh, like I said, a handful of times I get down to the park and, and skate around on the outdoor rinks here in Minnesota. And, um, but, you know, as of, uh, you know, recently, uh, my, my good buddy, Justin Morneau, uh, yeah. has kind of this standing game every Wednesday out at his place. And, uh, you know, it's filled with myself and, and Morneau and Corey Kosky and Rich Harden um, are the baseball guys that everybody else is retired NHL guys. So they play down to our level and uh, we have uh, have a good time doing it. Joe, Twins Hall of Fame later this summer. Do you have to make a speech? Do you have it written? I do. I'm, I'm currently working on that. Um, obviously, when uh, you get an honor like this, you have a lot of people to thank. And um, and I, you know, I definitely do. And I um, you've been thinking a lot about it. But um, yeah, it, it's hard to do that. in you know, the five, 10 minutes that they give you, but sure. I'll uh, spend the whole weekend. A lot of a lot of the old boys are coming in and, um, you know, to do it face to face, I think is a better way to do it. But uh, I'm going to try to do my best when uh, when I have to step up to the podium. There's so many incredible moments over the course of your career. Dero, when he talks about his career and all the players that we get on this couch, I always remember one or two. What's the one that sticks out when you look back? Uh, moments or yeah, uh, moments. Oh, man. Um, well, I'll tell you the 15 years went by really fast. Did it? Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, thankful that I uh, had the opportunity and the opportunity to play here in my hometown of Minnesota. But I think everybody remembers their their first game, you know, their their debut. And uh, for me, it was that first game and that last game, you know, the last game there in Minnesota to to go out uh, the way that it did and the way that it played out um, was pretty special for, for me and my family. And um, just uh, very grateful and thankful I had the opportunity uh, to do it. Well, Joe, uh, obviously the Twins Hall of Fame is still to come. So, too, the possibility of the Baseball Hall of Fame. You're going to be on the ballot for the first time uh, coming up. What if you have, assuming you have la allowed yourself to go there, uh, what, what, what thoughts come to mind when you consider just the possibility of hearing your name be enshrined in with all the greats of the game? Well, number one, it's humbling, um, you know, to, to be in that conversation. Uh, I know uh, this year, this, uh, you know, five, five years is up since I've played my last game. And um, I think there's, uh, you know, I think you have to play at least 10 or 15 years to, to get on the ballot. So uh, thankful that I'm in that conversation. Um, I mean, I was able to go out there and experience the weekend, the Hall of Fame weekend there with Tony uh, Oliva and Jim Cott, uh, you know, last summer. And it's, uh, it's a special place and it's a special group. And, um, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully I, I could get that call, um, but uh, you just never know. And, um, you know, either way, uh, I enjoyed my, my career and, and my opportunity to play the game of baseball and uh, loved every minute of it. Joe, I always feel like the great players in any sport, the game kind of goes at their pace. I always felt like you played the game. We, we kind of rallied to your pace, the way you went about it. And I can picture myself in the <clears throat> Metrodome, walking down the right, right field line underneath before anyone was there. And there was like a makeshift cage by a makeshift gym down there and you were going through your craft we had a little yep. conversation so i always like the teaching moments from the game's greats what were you working on take the young kids my son's 13 they're always listening what were you trying to do at the plate on a nightly basis well i, I always tell kids uh, you got to do your homework you know um nowadays there's so much uh data and available um to, to do your homework but for me, it was it was getting that feel and and, and trying to um, prepare myself as best I could to to go out and play the game. And um, I had uh, a routine and um, develop that routine develops over time. And um, you know, I did the same thing you did. Every chance I got to uh, 
to talk to a great hitter or a great player, I would I would keep my eyes on them and, and watch what they did. And um, I had the opportunity to play in a few All Star games, and and that was kind of my favorite time to kind of just watch others and see what made them great. And and you know, a lot of the times I was finding I was doing a lot of the same things, which uh, which is comforting and and kind of keeps your confidence up there. But um, number one, having a plan of what you want to do and putting yourself in the best position to have success. And really at the end of the day, that's all you can do, you know, baseball and hitting it's, it's a very reactive sport and um, you have to be ready for anything and, and prepare yourself the best you can. So Freddie Freeman always says, I'm trying to hit a line drive over to shortstop's head every AB. What yep. was Joe Maurer trying to do? Yeah. I mean, that's staying on the ball, driving the ball over the shortstop. Um, absolutely. You know, and, and you know, and obviously I'd, study the pitcher that I was facing that day you know um there's a good right-handed sinker baller that's that's exactly where I want to live you know that yep. left center game I always tried to stay inside the ball and I always like the ball out over the plate but I always tried to drive the ball you know not uh put it in the air or, or anything if I if I hit a line drive and I hit it well enough it, it can clear the wall but um just trying to keep it simple because hitting's hard enough as you know <laughs> Well, Joe, congratulations on uh, the upcoming Twins Hall of Fame induction. That'll be August 5th. And good luck this weekend uh, for the Minnesota Wilds Crazy Game of Hockey, July 7th and 8th. Be sure to go to Minnesota Wild, uh, their website. They've got some information on what is a great event. Joe, we appreciate the time. Enjoy the rest of your week. Yeah, thank you, guys. I appreciate you having me on.